2022 marks the 125th anniversary of the Geological Survey as an agency in West Virginia state government. It was formed in 1897 by an act of the West Virginia legislature and Israel Charles, commonly known as I.C. White, was chosen as the first state geologist. He was a professor at WVU, West Virginia University. He was actually in the first class of West Virginia University. The first thing he wanted done was topographic mapping because he wanted base maps. West Virginia was the first state in the United States to have complete coverage of topographic maps at a uniform scale. And that was thanks to I.C. White's vision and his uh, connections with the U.S. Geological Survey. So once he got that in place, he was able to continue forward with this county mapping program. Everybody still uses them. They were very exhaustive and very thorough reports of the geology of individual counties. Our general geoscience program is our boots on the ground in many ways. So this involves our bedrock geologic mapping program funded through the USGS State Map Initiative. It's our geoscience education and outreach and also the work that we do in our museum and curating paleontological collections. The objectives of the State Map Program and the U.S. Geo Framework Initiative are primarily in the geologic mapping realm where the overall idea is to create a seamless geologic map of the nation by 2030. Over the last few years, we've undergone a technological change where we now have access to a lot of imagery that is provided from aerial collection. One of the most amazing ways that we collect data is that it's from something called LIDAR, and essentially this takes off the trees from the surface and we can see where rocks probably outcrop or where they certainly outcrop and where we might want to target before we even go out to a certain area. The Earth MRI program is the program funded by the U.S. Geological Survey, the Earth Mapping Resources Initiative. And what this program seeks to do is to characterize domestic sources of critical minerals using a mineral systems approach. What the GES is doing as part of this research is coordinating an eight-state effort to examine high alumina clays that are associated with coal beds. These beds are found throughout the Appalachian and Illinois Basin and are thick mappable units that are being characterized for their geochemical content and to evaluate critical mineral potential. Appalachia has been through many energy transitions from the timbering of our forested slopes to coal mining, to petroleum and natural gas. One of the benefits of a geological survey is the continuity of information. Good data, when collected carefully and preserved accordingly, can be used across many generations. And now that we have that knowledge, we can leverage that across many different energy systems. So we can look at the legacy information from conventional oil and gas reservoirs that are now being evaluated for carbon storage. The shale gas reservoirs may now be part of a blue hydrogen system. West Virginia is an energy producing state. We have always been an energy producing state. This is not our first energy transition. And I believe that we will always be an energy producing state, but the type and breadth of energy may change. And that pivot to me is very exciting. I love working at the survey here in West Virginia. As an early career geologist, working at the West Virginia Geological Survey has been a really great opportunity for me. It's a research-based job, which I love, so I'm always continuously learning as other people are. I think that the environment is very supportive and nourishing. I've been given the resources that I need to succeed in my job. And I feel like if you don't know the answer to a question, there's either somebody that can help answer that or there's somebody that's going to figure it out with you. I've spent my entire career working for the Geological Survey. I was born in Morgantown. I'm a graduate of West Virginia University. It's kind of a unique family that we have here. We all pull together and we always have over the years. Something you don't find in a lot of other organizations, I think. 
And I also am very optimistic about the future because I think we are under good leadership with a very good vision for the future. And uh, I think the next 125 years look really good for the Geological Survey here.